So we need to make two cordages. Oh shit! What the hell is that? What is that thing? Oh, it's spawning whites. That's not good. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and about and start hitting some POIs, say hello to the trader, and get ourselves into all kinds of trouble. Uh, so, when I left you in the last episode, there's still a couple hours of daylight left, so I, um, I went out and just gathered some more basic resources, got a little bit of organization going on here, so this is kind of like, you know, basic resources this is kind of more parts it's not like in perfect condition uh this is sort of like food this is oh shit that sounds like he's right up here he's not okay he's just very close to sounding like he's right up here um and yeah, so I just gathered up a few more things. Uh, this is, uh, I found uh, this motion sensor schematic and I found the adds a chance to harvest acid from cars. Um, now we have these little book things here in, in the mod. Um, oh, we also found some glow sticks too, which are interesting. And then we have these signs. I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing the signs are just used for, for decoration. Um, yeah, so those are just used for decoration. Um, but these things here, it says, um, you used to really enjoy reading. Now you just wonder how many shotgun shells this will get you. It can be used for some extra paper. If you use this, it just disappears and nothing seems to happen. So I'm thinking that what we're supposed to do is scrap these things uh, to actually get papers and not use them. Uh, so if you guys happen to know that um, and can confirm that, that appears to be what the situation is with that. Um, so even though you can use them, it looks like using them makes them go poof. Um, so anyway, okay, so yeah, we got stuff here. I made a few more arrows. Did I make arrows in here? Yeah, I did. I made some arrows in here. And let's see, we got the land claim block down and the sleeping bags up there. And then I just hunkered down uh, and AFK'd for the night. Didn't make a noise because it was, frankly, quite terrifying. Um, and now it's morning and it's time for us to go. Oh, there is one other important thing I did. I made three ladders. Um, and so, so hopefully we might I'll have to figure out where to put these um, but so we can get up here quickly. But I ran out of nails, so we're going to have to find some more uh, nails to, to get this to work. Okay, so what we'll do do is here let's jump down here maybe what we'll do is we'll put the ladders here um yeah that's that's gonna make it kind of hard to get up there we're gonna have to break out that one block so I think what we'll do is start the ladders here but we're going to need probably at least two more, I'm thinking, uh, to get up there. And then overnight, I'll probably just end up breaking this one away, but I'm not going to do that right now, of course. Okay, so let's hop on down here. Grab that, grab that, and head on out. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the trader first today and then uh, after that we'll probably start hitting some POIs. Oh, we have to finish our questing too. I don't have any points to spend, so I'm assuming uh, the reason for that is because I haven't uh, I haven't finished the questing. So hopefully we get the four points that we normally would get after that's done. So that's actually uh, our most important thing to do today. But I do want to stop in again like I said and uh, go to the trader which is over here. Let's mark the trader on the map too just so it's easier to find. Um, even Well, I guess it's got this little thing here, but I'm going to do my own mark as well. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? We can't get into the trader quite yet because it's not time. Okay, so that being the case, um, let me go ahead and we need to get some more nails. So let's find some more nails. I think we... Do we get nails for taking this apart? 
Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, so you need, I believe you need nails to upgrade stuff as well as, um, you know, to make the frames themselves. So just kind of looking around for the wood on the ground to harvest for those nails. There's like a little mini miniature semi truck. That's funny. Let's see what's inside of here. Someone's coming up behind me. It was a battery. Okay. Let's take this guy out. Okay. Hopefully four pokes will do him in. Okay. So we got... Oh, he's in uh, enraged mode. Can we get nails from this? No, if, it's, if it says rip off, I don't think we can. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen... Yeah, he's dead. I haven't seen you guys' comments yet from the first video. The first video is actually going to be release at noon today. Today is uh, the 19th of June. Um, I, I was a little behind in getting uh, the first video recorded, so that's why I'm releasing it at noon instead of 8 o'clock in the morning when I normally release videos. Uh, just so you guys... I uh, didn't have to wait another day. So, uh, yeah, so I haven't seen your comments yet. And, man, look at the zombies are just, like, freaking all over the place. This is nuts. It's like I can't even get away from him. There's another horse over there. They're just all over. Okay, you know what? Let's do, let's just run for a ways. Well, actually, here, we need this stuff. Yeah, can you imagine trying to do this on Nightmare? It, it You can't. <laughs> you just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. There's just no way, man. No freaking way. I mean, I don't even think you could do this on Nightmare if you were decked out in end-game gear. It's just nuts. Oh, we got a drink. Okay, get some more nails from that. Still curious what the horses, if they have a functional purpose or if they're just there for funsies. Suppose you could kill them and eat them, maybe. The thing is, is I don't want to attack them right now because um, I guess we're gonna have to drink coffee because we're getting dehydrated here. Um, I don't want to attack one right now because if it turns hostile, it might kick my ass, you know. Got all the stones around here. Okay, let's run this way. Get some more nails from this. There's Mrs. Jiggly. Jiggly Wiggly. Oh, shit. Okay. Hopefully that'll kill her. Oh, she's after me. Oh, we got tagged. I'm not used to this in rage mode because I'm used to them running all the time, so now I... Now I assume they don't run when they actually do when you piss them off, so you're going to have to be careful about that. Let's pick this up. We can use it for storage. Uh, okay, trader should be open now. And it looks like we ditched a lot of these Zikaroos. So I guess maybe what happens is... The game spawns like a ginormous group of them in your general vicinity, and it looks like you can maybe run away from them if if you don't want to kill them. Uh, I wouldn't mind killing them except for the fact that, you know, it's still very early game. We don't have a lot of resources. I don't have a lot of food and drink at the moment, so I want to be a little more conservative until, you know, we're better prepared. Uh, let's go over here, and we'll hit these three birds' nests. I want to finish up this next part of the quest, and then we will go um, talk to the trader. With any luck, maybe his workstations are actually working. Okay, so place this, and then upgrade it. 
Okay. Oh, now we need to do do the campfire thing. Okay, so let's gather some cordage. So we need to make two cordages. Oh shit! What the hell is that? What is that thing? Oh, it's spawning whites. That's not good. It's like a a pod. You know what? I think the whites might run. Do they run? No, they don't. Okay. Wow, man, that is bizarre. Look at this thing. It's a spawner that spawns whites. Oh, my goodness. That's scary. Not going to lie, man. That's pretty scary. Thank God I'm not playing on Nightmare Speed right now. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. This is this area is no longer safe. Well, never really was safe, but you know what I mean. Holy crap, man. Okay, so... um. We need to make a campfire, so let's make sure we have enough stone. Oh, I guess we have plenty of stone. So we made the cordage, right? Did we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, sounds like they're coming in fast. Yeah, look at all those whites, man. Um, You know what? We actually need the campfire anyway. Uh, so let's just get it. Can I get up this way? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Let's just make campfire up here because we need one. All right, what are we missing? Oh, we need three coal. Hmm, do I have coal in here? Ah, uh, look at that. Three coal. How fortuitous. You'd think I'd, I'd planned it that way, huh? Okay, let's place the campfire right down here. No, that's not the campfire. That's the campfire. Okay, locate the trader, which is 139 meters. And did that finally give us our points? Haha, -ha, it did. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we've gotta we gotta think about how we're gonna do these points. Um Bug kebab. Insects, carrots, potatoes, and sticks. Ooh. I'll bet that's delicious. We do have a we do have a garden around here somewhere with some of that stuff. Charred red meat, raw white meat, charred white meat. Insects in a can. Insects in a jar. What's the difference, I wonder? This requires 13. That requires 5, so maybe we get more food out of this? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, what's this? This is seed. You can use the seed pack to create a new set of seed crops that you can use to grow and create better foods. Like, oh, wow, we got stuff. Okay. Uh, recipes. Oh, neat. Okay. I like that. Okay, so let's see. Let's put this down here. Yeah, I, I only, you know, I know I started the, the series off almost kind of like in tutorial mode saying this is how you do it but i haven't been this far so everything from here on out is brand new territory for me um so okay what is this this is a support class selection uh, this is an ink pen okay let's put the seeds in there um we're kind of putting bowl types of things in there and insects so we have 14 insects do we have any cans or jars? We have jars here. How many did we need to make the jar? Uh, we needed 13. Okay, so let's let's actually do this. Let's create a jar of insects. I want to see how much food it's going to give us. So that gives us 16 food, but we lose three water in the process, which actually is not 
the best thing. Let's eat these nuts and these berries. I might just have to go out and harvest a shitload of grass to get the nuts and berries. If I do that, of course, I'll do it off camera. Um, okay, so let's put... I'm not sure what the pin is for. Recipes. Empty survival journal. Paper, leather strips, twine, and an ink pen. Is that just for us to take our own notes, or is there another purpose for that? I don't know. Okay, let's put this in here. Um, I'm a little concerned about eating the bugs because we're going to lose... Well, we're only going to lose three water, and we're down on food. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That'll balance things out a little bit more there. Let's turn these nails... Uh, these bent nails into nail nails. And hopefully we can make another ladder rung. And then let's turn the logs into wood. Okay, the eggs we'll put over here. The feathers can go in here, I guess. I'm going to keep these jars with me so I can fill them up. The battery... I guess we'll put in there. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this supporting class business is. Um, and then we need to look at our points. So recipes. Use this paper to select your support class. Classes do not lock you out of progressing, but they do offer unique recipes for weapons you can craft in each category when you complete the line. Okay, so we have minor class, medic class, lumberjack, farmer, or chef. I'm thinking minor class might be the way to go. Um, you know, if we get like a better pick and that sort of thing. So, yeah, let's let's do minor class. All right, and then we read this. The skills that you earned the skills that earned you money in your previous life will help you survive in this one. Use your former knowledge to gain advantage in the apocalypse. Okay. So we started minor specialization. And look at that. We can make the iron pick. Okay, so let's learn that. Oh, and we got a green iron pick. Very nice. Okay, so we don't we no longer need this guy here. Um, I think I'm gonna save that as a backup though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so we'll save both of those, but this is now our new pick. Okay, that was really nice. I I, I think that was the a good choice to go that route. Okay, let's take a look at our points. We're kind of cold. Let's warm up by the fire here. I'm going to put that stuff in there, too. All right, so points. <clears throat> so we are going for uh, an agility knife build. But man, there's a lot less stuff here than there used to be. Is this all still the same? It looks like it probably is. Uh, okay, so... Intellect, action skills. Oh, action skills. Okay, so this is kind of more like Darkness Falls then. So these are the skills that we level up by by doing, you know, the item. Um, so we already have 15 things of bladed weapon. And then these are the actual perks. Okay, so let's look at the agility perks. Uh, we got From the Shadows, Hidden Strike, Flurry of Bows. Uh, but... So, okay, so he's removed everything that we can level up by doing. Um, so basically, he's taken all of the skills out of here and just, and he's just left the perks. Very interesting. Okay, so we got to think about this. Um, so run and gun's going to be a gun thing. Flurry of blows, specializing one hand in melee weapons and beating the target of your opponents in the Furies. Okay, so... You develop quick hands. One hand of melee attack speeds are increased by 10%. That would be useful. Hidden strike. Um, this, of course, is going to give us sneak attack damage. Also useful. From the shadows. I mean, I don't know. I, that I would definitely use if we were playing on Daytime Nightmare, but we're not. So let's keep Flurry of Blows in mind for uh, the agility tree. Let's go to Perception for a minute. Lock picking would be good. Uh, Lucky Looter and Treasure Hunter. Lucky Looter in particular would be good. Penetrator would be good. Uh, maybe not right now, though. Okay, let's look at Strength. So Sexy T would definitely be good. 
Uh, Master Chef would be good, and Mother Load would be good. Okay, let's consider those. Let's take a look next at Intellect. Uh, better Barter, Daring Adventure, those would all be good. Advanced Engineering would allow us to make the Forge. Um, yeah, I think you are now blacksmith and able to forge iron and other metal objects, craft forges, and craft items with them 20% faster. Yeah, we're going to take that uh, because, you know, like we did before, we want to we want to get into a vehicle fairly quickly. I don't know that it's as critical as it would otherwise be, though. I'd like to kind of just level these as we go rather than putting direct points into them. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with Flurry of Blows in agility and let's go with if we do master chef we can do bacon and eggs and teas and stuff like that so yeah let's do a master chef and i'm thinking probably sexual tyrannosaurus at this point for a little more uh melee or i'm sorry a little more um stamina either that or we could go with Oh, I guess athletics is going to be covered by the the by just running around. Pain tolerance wouldn't be bad either. Uh, nor would healing factor. <laughs> Excuse me, goodness gracious! Oh, this is the one that I was thinking of. Uh, running. Um, so this will give us uh, ten percent less stamina or ten percent more stamina regen while we're sprinting. Boy, I don't know that that could be handy too in this playthrough. I I think though. I think I would favor Sexy T first over that, but we'll probably get that one too. Okay, so there is our points. Got that done. <clears throat> All right, now uh, let's grab the nails out of here that we created and see if we can make, I think we need just one more ladder rung uh, to be able to get up on the, on the ladder that we have out there. And so that leaves us with three nails. Do I have one more nail? Oh, I want to take this stuff and sell it. Yeah, here we go. So that should allow us to make our sixth, or get our sixth frame back. I'd like to have at least six, well, ultimately I'd like to have more than six, but a minimum of six frames on us uh, for now. Okay, let's head on back out. We're going to go, we should, hmm, I should probably cover that so I don't fall in it at some point, but we'll just have to be careful for now. All right, let's go down here, put this other ladder rung in place, and now we should be able to just jump up to get on there. Okay, cool. Um, oh, here's a sports bag right here with a bone knife. Okay, so if we lose our, our first... But these guys are still wandering around. Look at that. Oh, man, that is just frightening as all get out. Freaking feral whites, man. Well, we don't have to worry about them as long as we stay away from them. I'm not even going to attempt to try and kill one of those right now. No sirree, Bob. Okay, let's go to the trader. Let's get a quest from the trader. Uh, buried supplies would actually be a good one to do because, well, actually, can we make a shovel, though? What do we have to do to make a shovel? I keep hitting the I key. It's Conan. Shovel. Stone shovel. Yeah, we can. We just need our little table. Okay. Yeah, buried supplies would be good because we would probably get, you know, food and drink. Let's see. Does any of this stuff work over here? This in particular. It doesn't dock on it. Okay, well, let's loot. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Okay. That was an amazing find. Okay, so now we can make the workbench. Well, I assume we can. I don't know what other types of hoops Ravenhurst will cause us to jump through. Oh, okay, it's a little bit better stone pickaxe to get all that. We have a little U-Haul hauler trailer here. A um, little better stone axe. Okay, yeah, that's pretty decent stuff. I haven't even taken Lucky Looter either. All right, let's see. Let's look in here. There's a couple things in these rooms, I th think. Yeah, that we can loot. I actually haven't been in this trader in quite some time. Nothing in there. Those are the player vending machines. Does he have a working forge in here? 
Nope, it's destroyed, but let's see if it has a schematic in it. That would be nice. Nope, but well, we got some wood, though. Nothing in there. I think there's a chem bench in one of these rooms, too, if I remember right. It has been a long time since I've been in this trigger. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and it works! <laughs> this is a good day, you guys. This is a really good day. We got the schematic for the workbench. We have a working chem bench that we can now use. Oh, man. I'm a happy old guy. Happy old guy. Does this work? Nope. It's okay. And we, we learned the points to, you know, to make... Uh, to make the forge, right? So we're we're in good shape, man. We got all the crafting stations we're gonna need for now. Uh, well, the vanilla ones, again, like I said, I don't know what else Ravenhurst is gonna require of us in regards to crafting stations, but okay, we got paper. Let's loot everything in here. More coffee, very good. What's that? Cannabis bud. Used in a variety of, quote, medicinal applications, from rolling joints to filling bongs. <laughs> okay. All right. How about a toilet pistol? Come on, is our luck still on a roll here? Nope, no toilet pistol. Okay. Well, you can always ask, right? Okay, that's good. Vitamins in a splint. Maybe we can get some food. There we go. Food and water out of here. Uh, another seed packet. Okay, we'll take that. It's like the game is telling us we need to do farming early on. Nothing in those guys. Man, these cupboards suck. What's that? Knowledge points are gained by using collections of schematics and books in the research desk. You can also find them in the world. So this is kind of like the blueprint fragments from um, Juarez, I'm guessing. All right, we'll hang on to that. What's this? Pickled fish. 12 food and 6 health. Okay. Okay. I've had pickled herring before, not a fan, but in the apocalypse, we can't be picky. Give us something good in the fridge. That's good. Well, except for the 10% chance of getting uh, dysentery from drinking it. We have to look into getting that um, filtration thing set up as soon as possible. All right. A couple more things up here to loot, and then we'll go say hi to the trader. Um, shotguns do 10% more damage. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Oh, we can loot stuff in here? Is this place not indestructible? That, uh, that's not good. Okay, let's break that stuff. You know what? I don't think it is because we don't hear the ping from the zombos hitting, uh, hitting stuff. Oh, yeah, they are doing damage. All right, let's, um... Let's see if we can draw them away. Come on outside, zombos. Yeah, it, it just occurred to me, you know, that I wasn't hearing the ping. Um, but also I was able to uh, uh, break that trash pile. That's what kind of gave me a clue. That white's moving pretty quick. We did set this to walk during the day, right? All right, let's lead them off over here. Problem I have is I'm a bit encumbered. I wasn't expecting to have to. Oh shit, he's still coming. There we go. Okay, everybody come away from the trader. Everybody come away from the trader. Let's eat uh, this pickled fish stuff. Because we are hungry and we're over encumbered, which means we can't move very quickly. Not a good combination. We're going to also drink a coffee. 
And let's just kind of see if we can draw these dudes away from the trader. We're going to have to be really careful about that. He seems to be moving pretty quick for Hawaii 5 -0. All right, maybe what we should do is go back to our base for a minute, drop a few things off, and then go back and talk to the trader. Just to get those zombos away from the trader. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're back at the base. Uh, we picked up one more duffel bag for storage, so let's put that down. And <clears throat> we're going to store this. We'll store this stuff here and we'll cook it later. I'm going to eat this now because I'm still doing pretty bad food-wise. Uh, one of these guys had... I thought one of these guys had brass in them, but maybe not. Okay, we'll put the we'll put the cannabis in there. That's a very important uh, food source. We'll scrap that. Oh, I want to put the cans in here too. We we're keeping the jars to get some water if I remember to actually do it. Okay, the lead can go in there. We had paper in here. Uh, screws can go in there. We'll keep put the cobblestone. Can we actually make flagstone blocks? We might actually want to do that. We're not ready to do anything with cement yet, right, though. Um, this, I think we're going to just put in here for now since we've got this better axe. Um, and same, likewise, we'll put that in there for now. Uh, we're going to sell the... The flashlights... Feathers in there. We'll keep this with us because we might need it. And we'll keep the... Well, I guess we'll keep that in there too. Okay, so that gets us unencumbered. Um, I guess we'll put this on the toolbar down here. Okay, now let's head on back to the trader. Okay, it looks like the zombos are gone for now. We'll have to come back and try and repair this at some point. Hey, you know what? Can we actually can we actually live in the trader? You could in Darkness Falls. You could live in the trader's compound, but it wasn't invincible. That's something we could maybe try. I don't know if we get booted out at night or not. Hmm. I don't know if I want to stick around to find that out either. Okay, well, let's go talk to our trader buddy. Trader Bob, how are you, man? Uh, can we reach a safe? Yeah, but I don't have any. Look the other way, Bob. Can we get to his uh, bookcase? I don't think we can reach the bookcase, unfortunately. Okay. Um, may I see your inventory? Okay, so let's sell him this. We're going to sell these flashlights because I already have one back at the base. And there we go. Peace be with you, my friend. Peace be with you too, my friend. Okay, so now let's take a job from him. Uh, he doesn't have a buried supply, so we're going to have to do, let's just do something close by. A clear 74 meters away. Yep, let's do it. It's rare to find honor in these dark times. Okay. Sometimes some mods make these shelves lootable, but it looks like they're not. That's not the case here. Yeah, I'd be curious to know if we can uh, if we could actually live here because we could we could fortify the whole place. You know, this could be our house. We could live in this building here, and we already have a working uh, Kim bench here. Um, but that's only going to work if we don't get kicked out at night. And I guess the only way I'm going to figure that out is either if you guys tell me in the comments or if I, um, 
you know, I just test that and try and figure it out on my own. Okay, so where are we going to this cabin here? That stupid feral got a beat on us. All right, let's see if we can do a double loot in this place. I'm not entirely sure where the fat loots are, but is this a collapsing floor scenario? Shoes. Uh, that's going to be better than what I'm wearing. All right, we're going to have to deal with this guy. He's not going to leave us alone. So how many hits does it take from a bone shiv to bleed out a feral white? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, whoa, four, five, <laughs> Six. I don't want him to tag me. Oh, that's it? Oh, those guys aren't as tough as I thought they were. And he dropped us a bag. Ooh, look at that. Nice. We killed him in six hits. I can't believe it. I thought it was going to take more like ten or so. Marlene should drop in four. Wow, man. I am, like, super impressed. Those guys... Are they dumbed down because of our difficulty or something? Okay, you can drop anytime, Marlene. Anytime now. There you go. Good girl. Okay, let's go in here. I think, um... Oh, okay. I was running across the floor to see if it was going to collapse. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's get some resources while we're in here because we're going to double loot it. Um, Oops, I should have looted that before I picked it up. Get the trash bags for the storage space. We're already encumbered and we just got started, man. What the heck? Uh, we already have one of these on. Which one is better, though? Does this does the mod do the comparison? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I think I must have found this in one of my test playthroughs before I started the series. Because I thought I already had one of those, but I don't. So, well, now we do. Now we do, man. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, let's get nails from this. Check in the kitchen. Did we have a cooking pot? Well, we do now. And a grill on top of that. Okay, we got Zeker somewhere. There you are, Darlene. Come get me. You should be dead in four hits. We've got another Marlene coming after us. Are you going to be a four hit? Yeah, you're a four hit death. All right, come here, Marlene. This knife has a longer reach than than you would think. It's interesting. Again, I'm not I don't want to use it. You know what we could do? We could maybe switch to this one for finishing moves. I want to save the good one durability as long as I can. Hell man, we should go kill all those ferals if they're that easy to kill. <laughs> no, let's stay focused here. Let's stay focused. We didn't loot this. I thought we did. Uh, okay, nice. We got a shirt and a police badge. What's that for? Furniture can make your place look. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So that's for decoration, I guess. All right, let's keep looting here. More ammunition. We'll take it. I like the flurry of, of blows. It's 
so we can attack faster. You know, and and we got some sexy T, so we can handle the stamina a little bit better. Go down. There you go. Yeah, I think uh, maxed out flurry of blows, maxed out sexy T. We're gonna be able to. We're gonna have some serious attack speed with this, and then you know eventually we'll be able to upgrade to an actual knife, uh, and then later on the machete. Whoa, she's fast. She's angry. She is gonna bleed out, right? There she goes. Okay. All right, let's continue on here. This place is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, nothing in there. Darn it. Okay. Nobody inside it there. Okay, we got the cheerleader. I wonder if we should get, like, a sledgehammer, too, just to kind of finish them off. Of course, a sledgehammer is going to use a lot of, a lot of stamina. Okay, we've got a couple bookcases. Three to be precise. Nothing there. Nothing there. Burning shaft mod, nice. Okay, let's check this. Okay, and we'll harvest this. There we go, agility glasses. That will actually help us with our knife skill. And uh, let's harvest this for the brass. Um, oh, is there anything up there? Oh, that's right, we can't nerf pull anymore. Okay, um, here, let's do this then. Seems to me like the way they have gotten that to work is by not allowing us to jump more than one block high. Oh, shoot, we can't get up there. Okay, we do have a bag. Can we just grab it there? There we go. Oh, nice. That will come in handy. Okay, Edgar, you're being a pain in the ass. Uh, I'd like to get the duffel bag for storage. We have to watch this axe. It's getting down there. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's what I wanted to do. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I destroyed it. Okay, what's going on back here? We've got a Hawaii 5 -O in there. Edgar's coming after us. Are you going to come through the door, buddy, or what? All right. You know what, Edgar? You are starting to be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to give you a pain in the face. Okay, let's finish him out with the this knife to save durability. Oh! He's in! Ah! <laughs> um, I don't want to... I don't, yeah, I don't want to risk losing a... A thing here. Let's get some bleeding going on you. Big feller. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? He's saying, ow, ow, ow. I don't want that guy to tag me, man. Edgar hurt us like a son of a bitch. There we go. Finally. Okay, do I have any pain pills? No, but we sure have a lot of crap. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here by this boulder. And I'm going to put down this storage because we are super encumbered here. Uh, we got two duffel bags. Okay, let's just put stuff in here. Uh, we're going to put all the ammo in here because uh, we can't use it at the moment. So, yeah, looks we're probably going to be doing a lot of this sort of thing, um, at least until we get, you know, more slots and so forth. All right, 
What's going on? We got another feral. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, look at that, man. Okay, weapons bag. Let's see what we get. A pitchfork. Ooh, we might have to try that out. Uh, toilet pistol? Nope. Meds. We need meds. Okay, we got cannabis and vitamins. Oh, shit. Is he in here? We'll get trapped. Okay, no, he's not. I thought he was walking down the hallway. Uh, okay, let's go down here. Okay, we got Cowboy Bob. What's in here? Oh, shit. Oh! Okay, we can't, uh, we can't get out of here. Uh, so we're going to have to play Ring Around the Rosies with these guys and bleed them out. 